I have failed many a times, many, many, many times in my career at Intel. One time, I failed so miserably, or let me just say I failed so brilliantly that my company was this close to losing two billion dollars. And mark the B in it, it's billion. That's how brilliantly I failed. And I have not failed once, I've failed many times, but this was the most brilliant one. I will also tell you that my entire career at Intel, I faced lots of obstacles in terms of people, policy, process, even payment. And here you were thinking, I'm gonna talk about innovation and I'm gonna talk about culture. But you will realize I will talk a lot about failure. I will talk a lot about obstacles. And I will also talk a lot about losses. But I'll tell you, these are no longer taboo words to me. Because the failure I've had, if it hasn't killed me, it has made me stronger and stronger. I'm standing here in front of you with so much determination and perseverance, and it came from the failures I've had. I'm a woman of grit. I will not give up. And I'm here to share with you the journey I've had and you know, some learnings I've had. And I want to leave you with not necessarily Intel inside, but I want to leave you with innovation inside. I want to set expectations very clear. You know, many of us have different definitions of in innovation. I want to start with setting context and expectation clear on what I mean by innovation. So what I mean by innovation is, I'm simply going to read it out for you. People creating value through implementation of new ideas. People, value, implementation, and new. These are the four words that translate into innovation. So let's keep that context very clear. My next point shows you what are the requirements. You know, I said people. Then there are people, comes politics, comes obstacles, comes various convergence of thought. It's not easy. Comes value. Many a times I've seen really, really smart people, really, really genius people can solve the most complicated mathematic problems but fail to create value. Sorry, that's not innovation. If you're driving innovation, you have to have people involved in it. You have to be creating value at, for your company, for your country, for your school, wherever you are. And innovation has to come with an action. You need to implement. I don't care. You come up with a very, very fancy mathematical equation, you solve it. If it doesn't get implemented, to create a value that you and I care about, that's not innovation. And it's got to be new. It's got to be a change that you bring. And it's got to think big. Now, now we are very, very clear about what is innovation and what does it take. And why is it important for us? It's very important for us because I'll share a statistic that I recently read in Forbes something to be really proud of, that India is third leading nation as far as startups are concerned. But something to not feel proud about, 90% of them are touted to fail. Can you give me the one most important primary reason why 90% of the startups in India will fail? The reason why they'll fail? Okay, the number one reason they will fail is innovation or lack thereof. Two, skills. Not very many skills are there. Three is the dollar, is the, va the money part of it. Creativity is not innovation. Ideas is not innovation. Innovation, like I told you, new value implementation. These are the critical meanings of innovation that we have to keep in mind. And then drive. I'm going to share you very quickly a story I had 
at Intel, and then what is the framework I built based on my journey. The story was I was in Folsom, and I was very sick. I went to the hotel desk and said, hey, give me a thermometer, I'm feeling sick. They said, no, 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 the guy who can give you a thermometer is gone from tomorrow. And here I'm burning in fever, and I'm like trying to put a moist uh, 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 towel on my forehead, trying to reduce my fever. And comes an idea, because it comes from my need. The idea I have is, you know, in my uh, computer development, I come from Intel, all of you know what I do. We have something called temperature sensors. Computers get too warm, so we have to cool it. And that's the temperature sensor we have. So I said, how difficult is it is to put a body temperature in my phone, and rather than struggle for uh, you know, the need I have, I would have measured my temperature with my phone. Became an idea. That idea, then I took to my uh, GM then and said, you know, fund me with some software people. I'm a totally hardware kind of a manager. I have only done hardware, but I need software. He so believed in my idea because I was passionate and determined about it, and I knew it was going to solve. He funded me, but came many a roadblock. I had, you know, very many people tell me that you are making a career-limiting move because Israel was doing something, United States was doing something, but I had to do. I believed in it. My boss funded it. We came up with a product. Of course, I went through an iterative process of changing my idea, and finally it was a sensor hub. Now every product in Intel has a sensor hub, and very many sensing are enabled, you know, temperature being one of them, but you can do very many kind of sensing. So what my journey was telling me is, I built actually a framework, and I'm looking at the time, I am going to build all my toys, uh, and I built this framework which said that I have to start with an idea, but I've got to evolve, because the market is dynamic. As more and more thoughts and more and more people come into the picture, your idea has to evolve. If you start with the original idea, you will realize that the value you create is not that much. Because as you progress, more and more information and uh, data comes into picture, iterate. Not just iterate, actually go through a small in implementation, we call it proof of concept. It may not be a full-blown product, but create a proof of concept. Once you have a proof of concept, then you can take to anybody and everybody and say, whether it is a VC or whether it is your GM, here is something I can do, here is the value it's gonna create. Then the VC or your GM believes you have put your heart and soul into it and you believe it's gonna work. Lastly, enlist stakeholders into it. People who will help you, people who will create the market for you. So the ideation phase, the execution phase, and the market phase is the framework that I lived when we created our innovation journey, Sensor Hub was just one of them. Now, like I said, innovation means create value. It's not creativity. It's not just a PowerPoint idea. It's creating value. And to create value, you've got to sell your product. You've got to show to the people, hey, it's not just valuable for me, it's valuable for you. Such enough value that they are willing to spend money on it. And I will tell you, my journey in Intel was not easy. I'll share with you a quote, or uh, you know, it starts with the law. It's called Parkinson's Law. It was created during World War II, and it says, bureaucracy is non-linearly dependent on age. And Intel is 49 years old. I had to deal with layers and layers and layers and layers of bureaucracy. I had to actually cut through to make things happen. That's how hard innovation is, especially when, you know, Parkinson's law doesn't support you. Startups, very young, they have fewer layers of bureaucracy, but they have other problems. So regardless, the journey of innovation is not easy. So the best way I thought, I'll show you what the journey of innovation is, whether it is a startup, whether it's a student doing his PhD, or whether it is an MNC like me. The journey is like a video game. 
Sometimes a huge iron ball is hurled on you and you have to duck. People are out there to kill your idea, kill your innovation. But then comes a life. You've got to quickly eat your life and get ready to go. So your innovation journey is full of hurdles, full of challenges, but you've got to create a goal that is exciting enough that the Mario wants to go through everything to reach the end goal. Your end goal has to be exciting. You've got to be ready to take whatever it takes, whether it is somebody trying to kill you, find yourself the one lifeline and go through the journey of innovation. Reality is your goal has to be exciting. Your goal has to be the light at the end of the tunnel that inspires you to take whatever comes your way. As a result of the journey that I just experienced, I want to tell you that we created a little framework of how things will work. The framework for ideation, execution, and marketing. What is the culture? The culture during the ideation phase is one, you have to be willing to take risks. You have to be willing to fail. You have to be fearless. That's the time uh, you, know, you can come up with an idea which is big enough. During the execution, I told you startups will fail because skills is not there. That time during execution, find yourself people to collaborate with. In Intel India, I have created very many uh, ways to collaborate and uh, you know, take the power of collective intelligence. Hardly any idea can be coming from one person and expect that this one person knows everything. So find the right skills, find the group of people who see your vision and are willing to collaborate. Lastly, in the final phase, in the marketing phase, again, many startups are failing because they're not marketing their products well enough. All the IIT graduates, many startups come from there. I don't believe they have lack of skill, lack of innovation. Marketing is also critical. All of us know about the saying, which says, jungle mein morna ta kisne dekha? If you don't market the beautiful dance of the peacock, who bloody cares? Who wants to pay or who wants to even see? So it's really important to drive the business acumen, understand the marketing strategy, figure out ways where you are able to sell your products. Because in the end, innovation has to create value. Okay, so I told you that my journey is about failures. I have scars still on my soul, but the failure taught me. Every single failure, every single obstacle, every single losses, us as leaders, us as contributors, have to create an inspiration out of that, have to create motivation out of that, have to create learning out of that. That is when your journey of innovation is complete. I will leave you with, you know, if you dream, dream big. Create a value. Believe in yourself. You can because boldness has magic, has genius, and has power. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.